You were looking really crazy for a while there. As it turns out, I'm really sane. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams, and I'm here to tell you all about Prime Video original series, Darebringers, and help you meet some of the characters to get you ready for the series premiere. Darebringers is a TV series adaption of the 1988 film by David Cronenberg, which by extension is a reimagining of the 1977 novel, Twins, written by Barry Wood and Jack Leeson, based on real-life twins and successful fertility specialists Stuart and Cyril Marcus, who mysteriously die in 1975. While the novel and the film were originally about twin male doctors, the Amazon original series concentrates instead on twin female OBGYN specialists. The series explores the medical ventures, which includes pushing the boundaries of medical ethics and their complicated personal lives entangled with drugs and romance. Get ready for a dark, wicked, thrilling story about the Mantle twins. Alia Mantle's life is thoroughly intertwined with her twin sister, Beverly's. You guys have like exactly the same face. Yeah? No shit. They live together, work together, and seem to have a form of communication that is on a different level. But for all Elliot shares with her sister, she varies from her in the way she operates. Ellie is more chaotic and emotional compared to her sister Beverly. She always has to do just one more of whatever her sister is doing. Sometimes that's one more drink, one more of her drug of choice, or one more visit to the bathroom with the lover she's picked for the night. I'll call you later. But her thirst for more serves her well. Ellie's different approach to life has allowed her to provide her patients with the best possible care. Ellie is also the one who constantly has plans to expand and grow and better comprehends the figures and complexities of their business. Now moving on to Ellie's twin sister, Beverly. Beverly is the more pragmatic and grounded twin, but that doesn't mean she's all business-minded because she isn't. She's the one to show up and do her job without fail. And Beverly's expertise in complicated pregnancy means she deals with a high amount of wealthy women who want multiple babies or have waited to have children much later in their lives. I feel like it might have started. Mm, it hasn't. I lost the plug. Did Elliot show you a picture of the plug? She did. It's a beautiful mucus plug. Congratulations on its safe arrival. Go home, Megan. It isn't happening yet. Beverly is also the twin who carries out pro bono work at a hospital located in Harlem, which allows her to share that same expertise with patients who do not have access to the same privileges as her wealthy patient. All right, now let me introduce you to some of the other characters in Dead Ringers. Genevieve is an actor from a more popular show in Elliot and Beverly's world. Did you always want to be an actress? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why exactly. No one in my family is like into the arts. She's strong, funny, generous, and serious. All of those attributes suit Genevieve in her acting career. When we meet her in the series, she's in New York shooting a horror series, which is simultaneously the most money she's ever received and the most degraded she's ever felt. Genevieve is also someone who pikes Beverly's interests. Good morning. You like a juice? You're not her sister. True. Greta is in her 30s, intelligent, unpleasant, and slightly offbeat. She has worked for the twins for the last few years as an assistant of sorts, which means she knows them and their working rhythms better than anyone else. And the twins adore her. She's part of their family. They would do anything for her. So Greta plays along and cleans up their messes as long as they are happy to pay her for her services. But Greta still has a life outside of work she does for the twins and keeps her personal life private. Hi. We've missed you. Oh, I can see they are looking ill. Bullshit. She's a beauty, 13 days old. Oh, I didn't bring a gift. We'll forgive you. Tom would describe himself as a feminist due to his work with the twins. He is a brilliant scientist who is funny, clever, and easily bored. Tom and Elliot have quippy banter and get under each other's skin, but that doesn't stop them from spending hours in the lab together working side by side. And that does it for this episode of Meet the Characters. Be sure to watch Dead Ringers, which premieres April 21st on Prime Video. It's impossible to explain this relationship to anyone outside of it. We just cut a baby out of a woman's womb. And she asked us to, we didn't just like do it. She's the funny one. <laughs> My sister and I do work that is groundbreaking, but hopeful, radical, but safe. Sometimes I feel I've got to. I want to change the way that women birth. It 
is world-changing. How does that vomit-inducing idealism translate into dollars? I do my job to help people. Baby sister, you are so deliciously perfect. Where do you come from? Is capitalism very bad? Are you okay? Oh, I'm brilliant! You want me to grow you a baby out of nothing? Bring it on! Let's do the research! Let's make anything happen! Are you God? How did you create life where it would not grow? That is not what we want to be doing, though. Mm, but it might be. But it's not. But it could be. But it's not. What Frankenstein trauma are you up to? I really like her. What do you mean? It's none of your business. Everything's my business, not this. They're both brilliant, they're both liabilities. We are extraordinary. You're a psychopath. Oh, well, if I'm a psycho, you're a psycho. We are as close to perfection as you can get. That is just nuts. I love it. You don't need anyone else. You never have. You were looking really crazy for a while there. As it turns out, I'm really sane. Isn't that wonderful?